And, you know, look, I think this is a great place to start with Kirk Creasy there from Arizona. And and maybe, you know, maybe it's Sean Miller bound. Maybe it's that simple. Um, but, Lavelle, I want to I want to ask you a question about him more so the, where we think he's headed. How do you coach a guy like that? And, and, and is it a consideration when you're thinking, OK, can I coach him? Do can can I bring it? He, Cause he's, he's a wild man, right? Like there's a, there's a flair to him, which I love, but you know, how, how do you coach a guy like Kerr? You know, you play, he's got a personality that you like. I think he's a competitive kid. Um, and he has a, he has a personality, which, which you're not to get like we had Nick Sauskas when we were at Michigan, Nick had some stuff. Um, and, and you kind of had to channel it into a, in a good place. And he ended up being big 10 player of the year for us, but you know, there was times where you had to put him in check also, especially in practices and, you know, you get a little mouthy, but love him to death, you know, cause he could play and, and you wanted him on your side. So I think Kerr, the right coach, um, yeah. that has the right amount of, of discipline, but also allows the right amount of freedom, you know, that it'd be a good mesh, you know, for a guy like him to be productive and, and, and kind of reach his potential. What does a place like that look like for Kerr, Kevin? Honestly, like I, I don't really know. I, in my head, it looks like Arizona, right? I mean, this is not to, to trash the kid's decision. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's like. What, what, like what he's looking for? Yeah. But I, I just think, like, to me, a place where you shoot a lot of threes, you have bigs who can really, really play. So you're not relying on him to score a ton. Yeah. A guy who can run a place with a big fan base that he can play to, right? Like that, that, that was Arizona. That talked about the boxes, mm-hmm. and again. He's been through a lot, you know. He, you know, committed to Sean Miller originally. They dealt with yeah. the COVID year. He also like well, you know, pick up and just say I'm going overseas and making money. Today's episode is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy, the easiest place to play college basketball pick'em, where you can get a little extra sweat during March Madness and win real cash prizes simply by picking player stats in this weekend's games. And pick'em, all you do is predict whether a player will go higher or lower on underdogs projected totals, whether that's points, rebounds, whatever. For example, if you're like me and you think Zach Eady is going to go nuts in this tournament, pick higher on his points projection, add up to four more picks, and if you hit them all, you can win 20 times your money on a single game. Underdog's slick mobile app is easy enough that dummies like Jeff Goodman have even figured it out. So go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app and use the code Field F I E L D and Underdog will match your deposit up to a hundred bucks. Now is the time to get in on the madness. So remember, UnderdogFantasy.com promo code Field. Right, like he, he has a passport. It's where he's from. Right, like he because of NIL being limited with in the United States for um, overseas kids. You know, he might not be the the case of a kid who will make more money in college versus overseas. So. I don't know what he will do, but I, I think again, you're looking for a place that that a, needs needs a point guard that's played in some big games, needs a guy who has some some flair and has some stuff to him, like, like Xavier, Lillard. maybe. No, no I mean, Sule Boom, I, no I Kobe Jones, no Adam Kunkel coming back. I mean, yeah, it just kind of feels like that's the spot, right? Like <laughs> it, it, it would be something. I mean, I, I will say this: any opportunity we get to watch Kirk Creesa play against Rick Pitino would be something I would pay. Like that should be on pay per view television. <laughs> And it would be incredible. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're like his. He he he's like the European uh, Marshall Henderson man, like <laughs> that. Like those are the vibes I get from Kerr. Which I, you know, he's a, he's a better passer. Like Marshall was never a passer, right? Like I'm not trying to compare their game, but just in terms of like the way they carry themselves, right? Like there's a certain there's a swag to that, which is not going to be for every coach either, though, you know. And I think that's the that's the no, key. You got to be able to channel. I, I do know Sean like. Fremantle, like he, what he did with Fremantle this year was like Fremantle has a little Kirk Crease of personality yeah. stuff uh, coaching against him in him. And so does Kunkel. You know, those guys yep. that and and uh, Sean did a good job with those guys. So I know one guy that could that could that could that could do it. Yeah, no doubt. That that would, would make sense to me. A couple Bruce other guys. Pearl, Bruce Pearl's a guy that could do it. When I, when I would think I would like absolutely love to see Kirk Kreese on an SEC campus <laughs> like <laughs> like that would like he and he look like I mean I'm in the south like they would worship that dude right like they he would be so welcome to the to those you know obviously the, <laughs> the right place but I mean if it, 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 it doesn't it, it doesn't fit in terms of like defensively but if he went to a place like Tennessee 
You know what I mean? Like it's just it's just fun to to think about 